Today I'm going to talk to you about the importance of appearance and what you can do to attract more customers. First off, I want to disavow myself. Shame on you. I want to deny any personal responsibility or liability for any statements that may seem to some as inappropriate, politically incorrect, or downright discriminative. In other words, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings. The point here is to help you. I want to help you be aware that although you may dress a certain way and like particular styles and body accoutrements, your customers may be put off by them and you might be losing business because of it. The whole goal here is to build a business and you do that by attracting customers. Have you ever walked into a convenience store and noticed how unkempt it was? You know, dirty floors, the bathroom was a mess, and they were out of coffee. Given a choice, next time you probably wouldn't stop at the same place. Well, that's the same thing a customer might think when they call for a tow truck and the guy who shows up is wearing a torn death metal t-shirt, has gauges in his ears, and hasn't shaved in a week. Here are seven simple things you can do to get more customers and impress upon the ones you do have a desire to use your services again when they need. Number one, smile. One simple thing you can do is smile when you greet a customer. Your smile does two things. First, it stimulates your brain so you're more social and outgoing. And secondly, it helps your customer relax. And when they're relaxed and feel comfortable, they'll remember you. Two, wear a clean uniform with a name tag on it. I know this can be a hard one given the business we're in, but at least start off every day wearing a clean uniform with your name tag on it. When customers see that you care about your appearance and they know who you are and that you'll be taking care of their car, they'll be more likely to believe that you're a good guy, a professional who do the job right. Number three, shave your face. I know this is a contentious topic, but it's true. Simply keeping your face shaved can get you more business. Now, many believe a beard makes them look more manly and wise, but a national survey reported that more than 65% of women prefer a clean-shaven man. And remember here, this is not about your wants and preferences. It's about what the customer wants. You're building a business. When you have more business than you can handle, then grow a beard. Four, wear gloves while providing services. There are more than a couple of reasons to wear gloves, but for the purposes of this discussion, you'll want to do it to keep your hands clean. Whether it's writing out a receipt or providing your customer with a ride while towing their car, they see everything. They see the dirt on the steering wheel, they see the dirt under your fingernails, and the smudges on the door and the ceiling of your truck. So wear your gloves while working, but remove them when you're driving. Five, don't use tobacco in their presence. I'm not saying don't smoke and don't chew, even though you shouldn't because it's not good for you. What I'm saying is don't do it in front of your customers. First impressions play a huge role in how people perceive you, and it only takes three seconds for them to make a judgment call. If a customer gets into the cab of your truck and you've got a Mountain Dew bottle filled with spit sitting in the cup holder, that's what they'll remember, not how nice you were. Six, don't smoke in your truck. Now, again, I'm not one of those cigarette Nazis. What I'm saying is, if you have to smoke, do it outside the truck. Pull over and do it. When you smoke in your truck, you are coating the inside with film, tobacco residue, which, besides lowering the resale value of your truck, is also highly noticeable to non-smokers. When a non-smoking customer gets into the cab of a truck that's been smoked in, the only thing they're thinking is, how long is this going to take? They can't wait to get out. You don't want to be remembered that way. And number seven, leave the jewelry at home. I know that piercings are the thing with some people, but they're not everyone's thing. So leave the tongue rings, the eyebrow bolts, and the gauges on your dresser at home. You can put them back in later. But remember, the goal here is for you to start and run a successful business. And to do that, you need good customers that will call you back again and again. And for them to do that, you need to make a good first impression. Listen. I'm not here to complain and tell you that you're doing it all wrong. And these tips are not about my personal preferences. It's about helping you learn and grow so you reach your fullest potential faster, so you get more customers. Whether you're already in the towing business or just kicking the tires to see where the money's at, you need to know how to effectively communicate your value and properly price your services. 
Those who thrive and profit understand that the towing business is more than just accidents and motor clubs. It's about understanding the mind of your customer and developing skills to get your value across in a way that makes sense so you make more money. And to help you do that, I want to give you this free book, How to Price Your Towing Services and Profit. Inside are the secrets every tower needs to know to grow their business. You'll learn how to effectively communicate your value, how to master the art of referrals, how to determine your rates, and how to market your business so you can stop depending only on motor clubs and law enforcement. So go ahead and click the link and put in your information. And when you do, you'll be subscribed to my email list where I'll send you regular updates, emails, and videos to help you grow your business. So go ahead and click the link, get your free book, and if you're not already a subscriber to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and click and subscribe there too. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching the Toe Academy. I'll talk to you later.